So what are the most five stressful jobs? So I had a look around um, to try and get different sources. Um, I couldn't find any studies, but I did find a few different articles and they did vary a little bit. I decided to side with this one, the one I finally found, and it is top five most stressful jobs. It's an article on total jobs. So the job company, um, if you're in the UK, you might have heard of them. Um, they, you can just get job advertisements on there, get job from there. So you'd like to think they um, probably know a little bit about jobs and stress. And, you know, they're quite big too um, as well. So they're quite well known. Uh, it was written by um, Richard Coulthard. He's the head of stress at work department for Michael Lewin, um, which is a solicitor's. Um, and yeah, he wrote, he writes about, in his opinion, the top five most stressful jobs, but he also explains how he has knowledge from surveys and, you know, he, he feels quite confident in his own knowledge. So, you know, I was like, okay, let's go with this one. I think he kind of knows what he's talking about. Um, and the five, which I've seen here, you know, they seem reasonable and they are mentioned in others, uh, other articles as well, but I'll put the link below if you want to check it out. Let's jump into the five. So number one is social slash support worker. Now I tried, I, I was a support worker for um three, <laughs> three short days. And yeah, I think um for me it was the management, but you know, Richard talks about here about how you can face um you know aggression and violence from people you're trying to help. You know, I think when you're dealing with troubled people, I think it can be really stressful and intense you never know what's going to happen um you know my second day as a support worker like someone was trying to spit on me and hit me in the head with a tin can you know like it can be really crazy for me again like there was poor management at the place I was working so I was lied to about a lot of stuff which is why I quit but um I can definitely see how it can get very tiring um every day so you know these people should get a lot of credit uh, the next is teachers. So everyone mugs off teachers because they're like, yeah, they get a massive holiday. Um, but according to Richard, he's saying that, you know, it's quite difficult because you don't get as much holiday as you think because you're prepping for the year. You do long days because you have to work before and after school. Uh, you have to deal with problematic students and Ofsted. And, you know, I know people have spoken firsthand, you know, there's a lot of pressure on like getting certain grades, I think, like, they're trying to hit certain quotas so you know it's all just it, it doesn't seem very well run and I think there's a lot of um stress on teachers again I tried teaching a couple times and I was a substitute teacher so you know they didn't take me seriously at all but yeah kids kids can be little shits um the next is police officers I mean this is kind of an obvious one and you know there's a love and hate relationship with the police a lot of people um don't like the police but you know they, you know, you need them. Otherwise, who's going to protect you when your house is getting broken into or being attacked? You know, a lot of people would turn to the police in certain situations. So, you know, you've got to give them credit. But I also realised, you know, some officers might abuse their power as well. So, yeah, I think it is a tough one because you're going to have to challenge people on a daily basis. And, you know, you're, you're probably going to get that arsehole every now and again. And they might... um you know, not respond well to you enforcing the law and they're, they're just going to have to deal with disagreeable people. So I can completely see how that's going to be a difficult job. Um, the next one uh, <clears throat> is a healthcare professional. And, you know, I, I, you know, you hear about NHS and how hard nurses are working and everyone else and just understaffed. And I completely get that. You know, he talks about not, uh, doctors, nurses, paramedics. I mean, you is probably a lot of stress you got to do stuff fast to make sure people are okay and alive and you know you might see people pass you might see crazy injuries um you know this is all stuff that Richard kind of writes about and yeah it I can I completely see that it's like very stressful you're probably not getting treated as well as you should as well and yeah just another very stressful <laughs> situation and you know if you're a nurse you well, I guess I think nursing salaries are getting better. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's like a whole nother story about salary and whether they're getting paid enough. Um, last one, number five, is prison officer. 
Uh, now, Richard talks uh, quite badly about a lot of prisoners. You know, not every prisoner is bad, but, you know, you probably, you might get some bad ones. It depends what security you're working at. And, um, yeah, I, I can see that. You can have some bad people. But, you know, again, I think prisoners also say, you know, if they're a cool uh, prison officer, then people are going to be called back. So, again, it's that power dynamic, uh, like with the police and the public. You know, it's like who's who, chicken and egg. But, yeah, I can see how that becomes stressful because you'll be at war. You know, you could potentially be at war with people every day. It depends. Depends how it goes. So he also writes at the bottom how to deal with stress at work. So I'll put the link below. I realize this wasn't the most cheery video, but um, yeah, it is good to put it out there and people to appreciate people doing these jobs. Um, and yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for listening. And I will put the link that I've referenced through this video below. Thanks.